And hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Dynasty Tactics. I am Rude95. Let's just give let's just let me give you a brief overview of what I did. I upgraded everybody in my army to archers. And I up I reorganized my armies as well. So I've got two divisions of armies. Um the first division is consisted of my primary attack force. Now that is going to be consisted of these armies here. Which have got some of my most of my most of my best officers put in them. Uh, the other two armies that have my best officers are going to be the this one and this one. These guys had these are my other ones. Actually, I might swap out Zhang Liao and Tai Shi for something. No, probably not because I want really good office officers over here at Hefei if they attack. Now that's just Division One. Uh, no, no, that's not Division One. Zhu Hong and Hong Zhong are part of Division Two. Uh, these guys, Li Dian, Sao Pi, and Zhang Zhu, these are all kind of crappy officers. I haven't really developed as much. These are my part of my Division 1, but these are only set to really capture territories. They're not actually meant to be fighting. Even though I'm pretty sure they could beat these weak armies that um, they've chucked up against us here. Now, Division 2, which encompasses uh, Zhu Hong, Hong Zhong, and of course, probably a lot more than I need. <laughs> Sao Ren Chen Pu, Guan Peng, Hans Hao Zhao, Jiang Wei, Lu Meng, uh, Yu Jen, Yuan Shu, Yue Jen, Zhang Bao, all these guys. What's Lu Meng's? Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm really tempted to do that. In fact, I'm going to do that. Screw it. Sima Yi Bai. I'm swapping out um, Sima Yi for Lu Meng uh, right now because I just simply don't need it. Simiyi can have his own army over there. The Simiyi's, I've actually not used Simiyi as much in this Let's Play, but Lu Meng is already really highly developed because of he was with um, Sun Quan's army. Now, Division 2 is mainly, is pr pretty much all of it is dedicated to defending Hefei if they choose to attack, although I doubt they will. Um, I might even take away some of these armies at Cheng put it at Division 2 actually. Let's take some of my better armies and put them, reinforce Division 1 with them. Um, and some crappier ones as well. Just to, e just to even that out a little bit. I've got so many armies that I've got too many of them. I've got too many armies. Right, so that's even things out. But there's only 7 and 6, so it's kind of more even. But these guys are going to be doing all the fighting. These armies here. Right, so let's end the turn. All my spies are also um, set up. So let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh crap, they attacked. I was not expecting them to attack. I was really not expecting them to attack because their armies are really weak. This can't be, this can't be a full army they're sending at me here. I've not got any, I've not even got any spies in this area because I didn't think they would attack. It's Lu Bu and Sal Sal against Zhang Fei and Guan Yu. That's literally just Zhang Fei and Guan Yu with some infantry units, so I'm not really worried about this at all. Right, so we have clearly got the advantage. It's, yeah, just some infantry with Zhang Fei, uh, who's now level 8. And Guan Yu. Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are the only really troublesome things here. So we've not really got much actually. This is actually going to be a, a nice and easy battle. You've got a uh, pit, right? Right. We're gonna, obviously going to take out everyone. Obviously. Oh, you've got... Yeah, let me just... Um, I'm going to taunt him down instead. Taunt this infantry unit down. Because we want to take out these infantry units just for the experience and deeds. Now we want to take out both Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. That means leaving uh, Zhang Fei out of the fight. But we can. Oh no, wait, I can't. <laughs> I could pet him, but why not? Why do that? Let's just bow attack him. Uh, I want to take these guys out. So I'm not going to waste many tactics on these guys. I want to save my tactics for the big guys. Um, I I could taunt him. 
Yep, yeah, screw it. Let's um this should really do a lot of damage to this infantry unit. We're not we're not gonna lose this fight. There's no way we're losing this fight. Unless they somehow get really lucky. But once we defeat Zhang Feng Guan Yu, they will both move to Jian Yi. Um, and then we've got to watch out um, uh, if the attack is at Hefei. Eventually, once we defeat all these standalone singular unit armies, they will reform all their armies into one. Let's also get this other infantry unit down here as well. Because I want to wipe all of these infantry units out quickly. So they will reform all their armies into larger, more powerful armies eventually. But for now we've got the advantage. Right, okay, so these infantry units aren't much of a threat. They're just kind of pesky little things, really. Um, I'm not even going to do much with Lubu, just have him wait here for now. <sighs> Uh, you know what? Let's just finish off this infantry unit while we can. Gonna use some big tactics on it. This surround will pull Lubu down and he can then charge and do some good damage. This has got to be the last scenario. I'm pretty sure this is the last scenario. Wait, okay, what's he gonna do? He's gonna do that, which is essentially nothing. Okay. Now, can I pick Guan Yu? I can pick Guan Yu. Let's get Guan Yu down here. Oh, over a thousand. Yeah, Zhe Haldun can't do anything just yet to attack Guan Yu. But we can bow attack Guan Yu. Oh, I can aid, I was wrong. Let's aid and decoy. Just to try and weaken him. Zhe Haldun, charging in. Nice, almost 2000 damage. And almost 3,000 damage, Guan Yu has been almost wiped out essentially already. Right, just attack, plain attack this guy. And he's not even going to use any tactics, what? AI, what are you doing? Are you trying to lose this battle? Oh, I can't, but why can't I build? Um, why can't I? Oh, because it's probably because it's all barren. Well, that's a plains. Can I build? Yeah, I can build on a plains. But I don't want to build on a plains. I want to build a deep over here somewhere. Oh well. Got to start moving some units over to the left hand side because that right hand side battle going on there is going to be resolved fairly quickly. Um, right, let's attack from behind and do some good damage there. This infantry unit is really clinging on to life. Finish it off, Lubu, please. Come on, Lubu. You're be I, I, I personally have to get involved in this now. Come on. Right, the infantry unit is gone. Which means... And I've got all attack back, which is good. Now, do I want to... Let's... Um, I'm going to... Oh, I can't. Still can't reach him with my bow. Let's. I'm gonna keep on focusing on Guan Yu for the moment because this guy, Guan Yu, is a big problem. Then, if we can isolate Zhang Fei, then he pretty much becomes not a problem at all. Let's charge him. Charge up the hill. Less than a thousand. Not great. 
Right, okay. I'm just, I'm not looking to, we can't even capture Zhang Fei or Guan Yu. So we'll even try. I'm just looking to wipe them out. Alright, let's put Xiao Yu in here and he can come in behind Zhang Fei once he does his thing. Alright, is this all? This is all planes. I could, let's build a, maybe this depot will actually act as a bit of a distraction for Zhang Fei originally. Wait, what's he gonna do? He's finally gonna do something. He's finally charging. Less than a thousand. I'm surprised. But okay, that puts him right in position for Jialdin to um, attack his rear. Okay, we've got our people. Zhang Fei is almost here, but I'm not worried about him at all. Just to get in position. Let's just all attack. Get out of the way. Let Zhang Fei come down and attack that depot. Huh. Xiaodun can't finish him off, oh well. Right, what's he gonna do? He's gonna come down and attack it, surely. Yep. It's fine because a bunch of our forces will get a boost to morale. Aha! Perfect. Let's raid through him. Raid through his rear and damage him a lot. Right, what are you going to do? Repel. Actually, it didn't do a lot of damage there. Didn't do a lot of damage at all. We've all, apart from Sal Sal, gotten a morale boost from that. Should probably, let me, I'll show off Lure, which actually drags someone, like, close to you. Watch. It drags them in. Lures your morale and their morale by five, so, so. Just a heads up. But it could be useful to trigger trigger things. Okay, let's um oh yeah, let's do this. Let's confuse Yang Fei. If he's confused, he can't attack us. If he can't attack us, he can't beat us. Simple. And um Jia Haldun will finish Guan Yu off here. Guan Yu's defeated. Now just to take on the big guy Zhang Fei himself. And then this army is in Tatars. Let me just adjust my I just need to adjust my seating position, that's so much better. Right, let me just set up a bit of a combo combination there. Uh, I don't want to repel, um, I definitely want to... I'll do two repel attacks. We'll, we'll pierce through first and then repel. This has got to be the last scenario. Poor Leo Bay's forces are just getting destroyed. I really do feel bad for Sun Xuan because he pretty much lost all of his officers to me because of Liu Bei. He would have had a much higher chance of surviving had he not taken Liu Bei in and just defended Jian Yi. That would have been a much more difficult fight for me. But because I managed to isolate his officers, capture them, and now he's got no officers left to actually defend with. Alright, let's bow attack Jiang Fei. Do some damage. Everybody just get on there. Not going to be difficult. Doesn't really matter what we do. Just damage him. Oh, look at that! 4,000! I wasn't expecting that much damage. But yeah, this battle's done. If you can even call it a battle, it's more like a slaughter. Okay, but the slaughter is over with. 
Wasn't expecting them to invade. That was unexpected. But futile. Right, so Stu Shu and Xiao Dun leveled up. Awesome. Uh, I want you to learn Surround and I want you to learn Taunt. Alright, yeah, you do that, guys. Yes, hire you. Do that, whatever you're doing. Doesn't really matter much. Right, now, we can't attack, um, as you can see. Can't really attack him. I actually really do hope that this is the final uh, scenario. Right, let's just move more of our officers about. Let's get people over there to Hefei. <clears throat> Ready to defend if he attacks. Right, move the last one over. And we've got some um, spies here. I've got a couple of spies sent to Hefei just to even up the odds. Uh, right, that's all that done. Now, so where were they? They were here. Um, we've still got... Oh, Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang. So Liu Bei, Zhuge Liang, Deng Feng and Zhou Tai. We're going to have to fight these guys to take Wu Ling because Wu Ling is the gateway to Jing. It's the gateway to this area. Now, once that area is taken, the closest enemy army is Sun Li and Zhang, Zhang Zhao. But remember, they will ref Zhang Feng Guan Yu will turn up here in Jian Yi. Probably, most likely with Sun Chuan's army. Do I have goods? I have Zhu Zhu and Zhong Yao. I think I'd rather have... I'd rather have Zhu Xu. And Zhong Yao than Zhu Yu. You just go do your thing over there. Oh yeah, one of my, a couple of my envoys got caught, didn't they? Uh, just put you here for now. I'm probably not, I'm probably going to use end up using the same envoys a lot of the time. Right now, who do I want to fight with next? Right, let's send Lubu's army, and we'll also send Ma Teng's army. I have a good feeling about that army combination. Because we've got Lubu. Let's actually check his tactics. No, he's got a good chat tactics. I'm happy with that. We've got um, Zhushu. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got a second pet. Um, we've got um, Zhao Yun, who's obviously got amazing. Hey, have you had pincer all this time and you've not? I have not had it in. That's annoying. And we've got uh, Jia Haldun. You've had raid all this time. Oh, come on, man. Um. Charge. And instead of ambush, I'll have you have aid. Got Ma Ting and all of his things that he's got. He's actually quite a good guy. Uh, he's he's alright, he's not amazing. But he has 10,000 troops, so he's quite powerful. Uh, Tiang Feng. Got pet aid mislead. It's alright, he's an alright guy. Wei Yan, of course, is one of our top guys. Ma Chao, who is absolutely new to our army. Captured him the next time. So against Liu Bei. Um, Liu Bei and Zhu Gu Liang, who has pit. Uh, Ding Feng and Zhou Tai. Now if we can capture these two, then we're in for a really good treat. Um, right, so um, the rest of you. Deng Ai army and Sao Sao army, move up. Um, Let's move you guys up um, in the rear. Follow behind. Let's get you guys moving. You know, I kind of want to do something. I kind of want to take out I kind of want to replace Ma Teng with um, Tai Chi Si. I think I'm going to do that. That would be much better, I think. Right, Ma Teng. 
have Taisha Sen instead. And over here, nope, it's not over there, it's right here. You guys can get Mateng as instead. Right, I'm a bit happy with that. Right, so I'm going to end this episode here, and then next, when we come back, we'll be taking on this army, these armies here. Really, not too much. Hopefully we can capture these two. If I can, then we're even in a much better position. But, thank you guys for watching, as always, this episode of Dynasty Tactics. If you have enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for further content for myself with Dynasty 5 content, which includes Dynasty Tactics, Dynasty Warriors 3, and Mass Effect. As always, thank you guys for watching, and, of course, take care.